All right, guys, welcome back, readers and writers especially. Today we are going to be doing a book review. I know it's been a while, and so this is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a while, is talk about The Dying Detective by Leif Pearson. Now, this is one of the books that I bought at the dollar store, so I only paid about $2 for it. It's a mystery story, much like the Nightfire book review that I did uh, probably over a month ago now, maybe two months ago. Now, this one has a lot of quotes and um, high praise, if you will, on the back of it. Basically, international praise. And a lot of it uh, mentions... European countries, actually. It says Sweden, Denmark, Italy. And the thing is, with me having read a really good detective mystery story already, I felt that this would give me a good comparison. Now, the author, Leif Pearson, G.W. Pearson, um, he served as an advisor to the Swedish Ministry of Justice and is also a renowned psychological profiler. And he is a professor at the Swedish National Police Board and he is considered the country's foremost expert on crime. He lives in Stockholm, Sweden. And so that's just kind of a little bit of insight into to his life. So he does have a lot of background knowledge in order to write this type of book. Now, the book revolves around Lars Martin Johansson, and he is um, basically a detective legend. And so he he is he is known in the National Criminal Police as. The Man Who Could See Around Corners. Now, when I read this, um, basically it goes on to say that he suffered a stroke, he finds himself in the hospital, and so he has some, some health problems. And one of his doctors mentions an unsolved murder, murder case while he's in the hospital, so he decides to try to solve it. And so it's a very interesting concept. I actually felt it was it was different. That was one of the reasons why I actually picked it up was not only because it was uh, a mystery so that I could compare. It was only two dollars. the 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 storyline, the concept, the plot, if you will, it it did intrigue me enough that I thought, okay. If I'm going to spend two dollars on something, it, it at least has to intrigue me enough to kind of encourage that purchase. And so, after after reading this book, I am rather disappointed. <laughs> and the thing is, so let's start from the beginning. So it's a Swedish author, has all this high praise on it, which to me... I absolutely hate, I hate using that word, hate, but I, I strongly dislike when they put all this writing on the back and they say, oh, the, the king of Swedish crime writing, you know, extremely hard to put down, um, amazing novel, phenomenally brilliant, gifted storyteller. It, it's just... It's really disappointing as a writer and reader when you get into a book and you you think, okay, the the concept is really good, I like the story, let's see where it goes, and it starts off rather well, and then it just totally just, just starts to disintegrate, just falls apart so quickly, and... The reason for that, probably, my guess anyway, after reading this, is that 
many of this international praise is not even international. I mean, you have, you have uh, what, four countries? You have Sweden, Denmark, Italy, three. That's literally it. There's only three countries here that actually gave, you know, reviews on it. So three countries, Denmark, Sweden, and Italy. And to me, if it's going to be international, international means everywhere. So from C to C, right? And so I feel like they put this book on a pedestal and were like, here you go, this is gold, this is amazing, and it's not, unfortunately. So, with me speaking Swedish, um, it was very easy for me to pronounce certain things, like street names and cities, which was really nice, it was a benefit of, of knowing Swedish. However, the... I don't want to say there were idioms that I didn't understand necessarily, but there were a lot of um, errors grammatically. Some of the sentences didn't make any sense. I think there were some spelling mistakes, uh, if I remember correctly. And it just, I think the thing that really bothered me the most was that the book had a great concept. It started off strong. It was very unique. And then, as you're reading it, it just, it lost a lot of momentum due to the grammatical errors and almost the nonsensical sentences and, and words and everything. And it just, it was almost like the, the dying detective, Lars, was forgetting how to speak, if you will. And that, that to me, it, it just didn't make any sense. It was almost like, well, okay, you're supposed to be telling a story about a, a, a dying man who had a stroke, and yet it's almost like he's writing the story himself because it's so just, it just didn't make any sense. It was very, there was no flow as well. You know, I felt like things are all over the place, but conceptually, story, there were a lot of mature subjects within the book, some things that people may actually find somewhat disturbing. Um, you know, it's a, it's a murder case. It's actually about a, a child. There's some other things in the book that are really, really bad that I don't know if they're actually true or not in the real world, but certain things that would potentially bother readers, um, depending on your life experiences. So at the end of the day, you know, I know I'm probably dragging this book through the coals, but honestly, for $2, if anybody wants this book, I would literally just give it to you if you want to read it. It's, it's really, for me, when I was, I don't know, let's say a quarter or halfway through the book, I just wanted it to be over. Honestly, I just, I read so much of this in such a short period of time just to finish it. It was not enjoyable, and it wasn't. It wasn't um, lacking or bad because I was rushing through it. It was bad because it was bad, and so I don't recommend this book to anybody. Um, if you want the book, I paid two dollars for it. Anybody who wants this can gladly have it. Can take it off my hands. Um, I don't plan on reading it ever again. It's just going to be taking up space on my shelf. So, unfortunately, the high hopes that I had for this book uh, basically disappeared pretty much at the beginning, you know. And, unfortunately, as a, as a writer, you do need to have a good concept, you know, a good storyline. But if you can't execute it to a certain standard, not just a international, but it's actually a European standard because it's all European countries. If you can't, you know, perform at a certain level and actually write a good book, you know, just because in your home countries, 
or your, you know, like Scandinavian countries, mainly, if they're all saying, oh, this is an amazing book, it almost felt like someone who didn't understand English was writing this book, and so someone else who doesn't speak English, uh, n you know, regularly, probably read that and thought, oh, wow, this is an amazing book, even though for someone who is a native English speaker, just looks at it and goes, what the heck? You know, and this is probably, out of all the books that I've read, probably the worst one I've ever read. And I've read some pretty bad books, but this is probably the worst review I've ever had to make, and the worst book I've ever had to read. And I really wish that I could say more positive things about this other than the concept and the storyline, but I really can't. You know, he's written other books. Maybe his other books are better. I don't know. Maybe this is one of his first. I have no idea. But it's not one of those things where it's not, it's not, it's not impressing me at all, unfortunately. So, yeah. So, it, it was really disappointing. And I hope that if you guys read this book... Hopefully you guys had a better experience than I did. Maybe you guys had a, some more positives to take away from the book. If you've read this one, if you haven't read this book, my copy is up for grabs if you want it. And um, if you guys like this review, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the book or you didn't like the review, I'm sure I'll see some uh, thumbs down for that reason. And if you guys have any comments about this book or about how I reviewed it or if you want to ask me some questions, um, maybe to clarify some things or whatever, feel free to um, leave some comments down below. And if you guys like my book reviews or any of the other content that's on my channel, feel free to subscribe so that you're notified when I post more. And, well... I know this is probably going to be the only exception. You know, I've had some pretty decent books to read so far this year. And I'm really hoping that the next book that I review is way better. <laughs> and I hope that this helps you guys in choosing which book to read next for your collection. And I will catch you guys in the next one.